Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rachel Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here pushing this truth and sincerity. All right, the water for what you do. We love you and we appreciate you through the spirit. All right, so Shalom. All right, hey, listen. Um, this is your brother Dawa Dab from the GMS camp in Atlanta. All right, just here to bring you another prophecy update. Um, you know, hey, we in we in the time of Matthew the thirty fourth chapter. All right, um, you know, other other chapters out there that the GM elders, apostles, and elders um and, and Aki have been putting out. You know what I'm saying? The 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 year of prophecy. This is a year of prophecy, and this is another prophecy update. It hey, it's it's the same thing that's been going on. It's about gun control, right? Because what? That's the major part of prophecy because we need um gun control, you know what I'm saying, for people, you know what I'm saying, so they to come in and take away these guns from y'all, you know what I'm saying, and implement that martial law and that market that mark the beast. You know what I'm saying? This is a step further, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna play the quick video. Um actually, you know what? First I'm gonna get the get a scripture. This is Job 9 and 24, and it says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right, who covers the faces of the judges thereof? You know what I'm saying? Who who gave you the so-called white man is Jesus Christ? When Revelations um uh, one and thirteen through fifteen explains what uh Yahweh shot with the world called Jesus Christ looks like. You know what I'm saying? So y'all yeah, gotta understand something. The earth is given into the hands of wicked, so that's power. That's the power is be. I, well, the power is at hand at, at the at the very moment. You know what I'm saying? So they have. They're the puppet masters. They control everything that go on. They push out false flags. They push out uh, things like these school shootings to happen so that um they can uh push their, their agenda, man, which is taking away your guns so they can pop off with this martial law. So when when uh when it's time you can't uh you can't protect yourself and your families, because better believe the martial law is coming and, and and they're coming to kill people. You know what I'm saying? They're bringing troops to your front door to kick down your doors, to run in your house, to kill people, to murder you, bring you to concentration camps, all right, turn you into slavery, all right? So, you know, let me give you that uh that scripture, um, I'm not that scripture, that uh, that video real quick. I'm saying that we're going to go into a couple more scriptures and some articles and stuff. And right now we have a look at what crowds looking like there with those sister marches all across the United States. Here are crowds in Chicago and then the middle here, Fort Worth. And take a look at the major turnout in the birthplace of the movement, Parkland, Florida, and hundreds of people joining in in downtown Tampa as well. ABCX News reporter Wendy Lane shows us why students and parents say they want to change. We demand to be heard. Since the shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland on February 14th, killing 17 people, students are demanding lawmakers do something about gun violence. We demand that you, our representatives, hear us and create legislation. We got these fucking demons, these kids, man, these weird ass kids, man, these fucking dusty ass kids. Like, yo, don't y'all know that this shit right here is going to kick off martial law for y'all? stupid people like ain't nothing good coming out of this for y'all but y'all pot and hey i brought this out something's good coming out of uh, um out of it for for the you know the elect you know what i'm saying which is um i brought this out the the you, you brothers i've been pushing man and it's truth and sincerity all right the 144,000 men of gms and um the i came across the four corners of the earth man you know what i'm saying hey i brought this out man you brothers are, are part of the elect and, and lord willing me as well you know what I'm saying? Like, these fucking weird-ass kids don't even fucking know what's coming. They using kids to push their agenda, you dumb motherfuckers. Tightening gun control laws. I'm tired of the NRA and corporations running our country. We are the people. We run our country. Parents, students, and supporters from 50 schools. Y'all don't run shit, man. It says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. What the fuck you think you run, bitch? All right? You wicked too anyways. Around the Bay Area flooded Kylie Garden. Enough is enough. Organizers say the ultimate goal is getting assault rifles banned. We don't want drills to have to be a thing that is required once a month for, for evacuations. We shouldn't have to get to that point. A Stoneman Douglas survivor shared her experience with the crowd. Everybody just froze. We, we had no idea what was going on. She says her school will never be the same. 
it's quiet but loud at the same time like you feel the tension in the air when you're walking by the freshman building it's closed off but like you know why it's closed off you feel it students say they hope this movement will cause change people question what we're doing they don't like they don't understand they don't see a purpose in it but if you look back throughout history every protest of this type has always ended up being on the right side of history this is what democracy looks like in tampa wendy lane abc action news and then they're chanting, this is what democracy looks like. This, when has this country ever really given you freedom to do anything? You know what I'm saying? They give you the freedom to go against the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. And that's what you people love, man. That's what you people love. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not in order. And that's the reason why um, all the, and that's why you guys love this, this, this country and you think this is the greatest country in the world. Because you're not fucking in order. The women are all out of order out there having sex with multiple men, cheating on all the uh, all their boyfriends or husbands or whatever. Um, talking back against the uh, the men, you know what I'm saying? And um you niggas don't know how to really lead women anyway, so that's why they doing these things, you know what I'm saying? You you niggas ain't nothing but a bunch of fucking drug dealers who like to pop the bitch and then leave them, you know what I'm saying? But these dumb bitches go after these niggas anyways, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Bunch of drug dealing ass niggas, murdering ass niggas, fuck your man's girl ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't respect or honor thy mother and father ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? You people going to church and, and worshiping um Caesar Borgia, that so called white man who hung up on who um who they put in the picture that did never that never touched a goddamn he never touched a cross in his goddamn life, man. You know what I'm saying? Except for to fucking put it to your forehead and, and bless you with the spirit of Satan. You know what I'm saying? And anoint you, anoint you in, in the spirit of Satan, man. You know what I'm saying? He was set up. Don't y'all know? The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who's the ultimate judge? Yeah, how, who's, who, who's, um, who's after him? Yahweh yeah, Shai, his son, who the world called Jesus Christ. All right? They covered up those faces. Every movie that you see, every 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 picture and, and, and TV show, cartoon, children's books, regular books, everybody's whitewashed, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. Hey, this right here is a step closer to these prophecies, man. Because they're going to take away your guns. They're going to kick down your doors shortly after, man. Motherfuckers. All right. So, look. Hey, New World Order's coming to America, right? Hey, hey, this is the back. This is your dollar bill, right? I pulled up some, 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 um, I pulled up the dollar bill and, and you know, this is what comes up. You can't really zoom in, but, you know, I don't know if y'all can see, but I'll just read it to y'all. On the back of your dollar bill, because you got to understand that. Why do they push out this, this vibration for uh, gun control? Well, first they start the, the chaos, right? And then they have the order to come uh, shortly after. The chaos is things like school shootings, 9-11, all this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? These things, these false flags. These, it's always a goddamn school shooting. It's always a goddamn mass shooting. What, yeah. Who, what do you think is going on in this world? Do you really think that everybody's in the, in the spirit of like, yo, nah, we got to kill lots of people. With guns with an AR-15 usually you know what I'm saying or some type of machine or something that they, they they find the government finds more uh, detrimental to, to the success of them kicking down your doors if they kick down your doors and you and you present that door with a motherfucking AR-15 AR you might do some damage you know what I'm saying but that's bullet piercing all um, ammo all types of shit they got hollow tips you know what I'm saying um like you know they're trying to take away your weapons they're trying to take away your your, your line of defense man you know what I'm saying Got these different hormones and stuff that they put um inside like men so that they can uh keep them, their extra estrogen levels high. You know what I'm saying? Also, when they kick down your door, you know what I'm saying? These GMOs in there, your food, is this shit in the air making you sick, making you fat, so you can watch TV shows and eat tater chips and fucking and drink soda and shit. So when they come in on your ass, man, you can't fucking do shit, man. What, you, what don't y'all like? What don't y'all get, man? This right here is a step closer to to a new order. So let's look at the um, dollar bill here. Let's see, first thing you see is Anuit Sueptis, so, so and um, translated, that means announcing conception, right? So, let's look at the word conception. I already have. All right, it says the action of conceiving a child or a child being conceived. All right, hold on, because that's not a... Uh, of course, we know that, you know, what that is. Um, hold on one second. The way in which something is perceived or regarded our conception of how language so all right conception doesn't always only deal with um with birth so it's a lot on that it doesn't always do only deal with birth the way in which something is perceived all right so if you go to try to perceive something um 
they they'll manipulate it. You know what I'm saying? They're, they 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 want to they want to give you their perception. You know what I'm saying? They want to give you their conception. You know what I'm saying? They implemented that so that you know you guys can like the conception would be to let you think that you have freedom in this country, right? Conception is to let, let you think that that you're safe in this country. You know what I'm saying? They always pull up, put out that, you know what I'm saying? That vibration of, of, of you being free, you being, um, safe, you know what I'm saying? Now, if something happens where a uh, mass shooting happens and stuff like that, they'll come in and, 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 and help out with that, you know what I'm saying? And they've, con they, they've, they've, uh, conceived that they're, that they're actually, you know, the, the protectors, you know what I'm saying? When in nationality, they're, they're, uh, they're, the, they're the ones that's starting this shit, you know what I'm saying? Look into conception a little bit more. Look, implantation. The capacity, function, or process of forming a understanding, ideas, or abstractions, or their symbols. So, yeah, that's, you know, it's not only to do with birth, you know what I'm saying? It has to do with, like, you know, basically the um, psychology, you know? So um, let's see what's next here. You got the Illuminati, Illuminati, Illuminati eye, great architect Lucifer. Yeah, right there. Novus Order, so Clorum, right? That's like the biggest thing. It's a uh, secular new order, Sec secular new new order, which is basically new world order. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can just look up new world order, a whole bunch of things are gonna pop up. You guys already know about the new world order right now. You know what I'm saying. There's another one that's supposed to be here. I believe it's uh, Order Out of Chaos. Yeah, that New World Order. So basically, you know, the, the order they want, they want to, they want to implement this uh this chaos so they can come with that that order. You know what I'm saying? It's Order Out of Chaos. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this uh um Nouveau's Ordo Seclorium means. It's, it's New World Order. You know, a new it um was it Conceptus we said. Coeptus, all right, which is uh their 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 conception, you know what I'm saying? They want they want to, to put out a vibration of, you know, always in peace, always secure, you know, always free, do what you want. You you guys are good, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and watch all the TV you want. Go ahead and uh, drink all the fucking poison ass Pepsi that you that you like. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you wash you wash those chips down, those Lay's potato chips, all that bullshit in it. With, with that with that uh poison man you know what i'm saying and while you're at it make sure you get a big mac don't forget the big mac dude we put 13 of them right in front of you um within a, a one mile radius make sure you go and grab a big mac just in case you missed the first one you passed it by mistake there's two more um one on the right and one on the left at the at the stoplight you know what i'm saying get fat you know what i'm saying you're good you know what i'm saying that's the conception that they that they're that they're pushing you know what i'm saying so um and and the ultimate thing is so that they can start the new world order um implement start implementing these uh microchips which is the RFID microchip which is what the mark of the beast right so really quick let's just get revelation thirteen and sixteen. And it says, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, um, or the number of his name. Right. So we know that, um, hey man, when they start implementing that new world order, they're gonna put that, they're gonna make that shit mandatory. You know what I'm saying that's how you know we're in the right times. You know, and hey, it's coming. You know what I'm saying it's already here. The microchip is already here. You already hear um wars and rumors of wars. You know what I'm saying? You already see pestilence, pestilences and uh and um and earthquakes in diverse places. There's already famine going on in certain parts of um the world right now. You know what I'm saying it's soon to be coming to America. You know what I'm saying to a theater near you, man. So get ready, man. You know what I'm saying. So they're gonna tell you to take this mark of the beast when uh when all hell breaks loose. But don't do that. Cause the scriptures say what. Let's get um scripture say this what is it uh let me, let me see. I believe it's Ecclesiasticus uh, twenty 
12, I'm going to say 12 and 10, all right? This is Ecclesiasticus 12, verse 10, and it says, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Meaning it's inevitable. You know what I'm saying? And who's the wicked? Who, who wickedness it is, um, what it says? Never trust thine enemy before, like, as iron rust is, so is his wickedness. That means it's inevitable. So whose wickedness is inevitable? Job 9 and 24, we already gave it to you. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Who were, who runs the world right now? So-called who? White people. You, you don't even have to guess, man. It's already out there. You know what I'm saying? They run the world. They're the wicked. You know what I'm saying? Never trust thine enemies. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, don't trust them when they say that this, uh, this, this, this um this microchip is gonna is gonna help you out. You want you want food? Gotta take the microchip. You want you want uh you know you want to um want us to help you take care of your family? Take the microchip. No, don't do that, man. Never trust thine enemy because when you how is shy with the world calls you um Jesus Christ when he comes back to save his people, he sees that mark. You're finished, right? Even if you had a chance, you ain't got a chance now. You know what I'm saying? So you might as well just hey choose death over that mark that that microchip. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they'll even threaten to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Torture you, all types of shit for you to take that mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? Never trust our enemy, man. We're going to be at war right now. You know what I'm saying? Spiritual war right now. But at the same, but pretty soon, man, Yahweh Shah is going to come back and make it a physical war. Who the world calls Jesus Christ. Thus say the Bible. All right? So remember, order out of chaos. Every time you see like these false flags and shit, man, just understand, man. It's all gearing up to this right here. It's all gearing up to this, man. All right? This mark of the beast right here. Every time you see these fucking kids uh, going through the fucking streets, marching and shit, and, and these different protests about um, the government needs to do something, never trust thine enemy, man. Why are you asking me the government to do something? They want you to ask them to do something. Shit's crazy, man. Hey, but with that, hopefully, hopefully you all, these so-called black, Native American, and um, Hispanic men and women, which are Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. Hopefully, you were edified, and I am out here watching this. Um, you know, with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechal Kadash. Double honors to my apostles, the elders, the great millstone, who were well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out here pushing the truth and sincerity. All right, we love you. Um, the water for what you do, the spirit, and Shalom.